The once silent mercury mines in California's Pacific foothills, abandoned and left to decay, have miraculously come to life. Renewed mining activities have been spurred by a new age, the atomic era. Man has come again to extract from the earth the precious but once neglected metal popularly known as quicksilver, the raw material from whence comes magical mercury, as seen in this close-up. Note the small dots of silver-like substance in the soil. The fact is, mercury, not gold, is California's oldest mined metal. Now it is reclaiming its high place in value, rising again from the shadow depths into the metallurgical limelight. In ever-increasing demand, each day sees tons upon tons of the precious ore go through a refining process that has been accelerated to meet the growing market. That calls for speed. Early refining methods have been replaced by new and faster techniques. Now the crushed ore is placed in rotary furnaces where it is revolved slowly and fired at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. The mercury then rises from the ore in the form of vapor. Passing through huge tanks, the mercury continues its distillation process and is dropped to water-filled tanks below. These tanks are emptied and their contents placed in a lime tray. The lime allows the mercury to snake its way out of the dust residue from the process and fall into nearby containers. The prime mercury is then bottled, 76 pounds to each flask, and is sent to the laboratory for final purification. Named after the planet nearest the sun, mercury has been useful in the realm of medicine, industry, and chemistry. Here is the final distillation process in extreme close-up. The magic metal that once served bygone alchemists and ancient wizards now serves the modern astronaut and atomic scientist. Though an apparent liquid, its strange properties cause metal to float. A steel wrench stays on the surface to confound our senses. So does this one pound weight, even when forced to submerge. Surely Mercury, the magic metal, will be in the first spaceship to trigger to the moon, for its unending utility has spanned the milestones of the century.